فوش محل نشر فيديو آه اور لترشر تو دي اتس اتس اباوت جاست باين سايكل فور فاريانت لود لايك ريفيرس اسموزيس اند ديسالينيشن يو هاف تو سبيسيفاي يور يور فولدر مين فولدر جو فروم فروم هير جو تو يور درايف يور فولدر اوكي اند دبل كليكينج اون يور موديل اوكي ذيس از اور مين مودين فيو موديل براوزر تشيك تشيك اول اوف ذيس اند ذيس اوكي اوكي وات از اور مين سبجكت توداي اوكي Let's talk about gas turbine cycle. Simple uh, gas turbine cycle. Uh, okay, it's about comp uh, compressor, uh, combustor chamber, uh, high pressure uh, turbine unit, and uh, air cooler. So um, we are going to attach this with um, uh, reverse osmosis uh, deceleration. Okay. Uh, suppose we have this is an example of uh, pressure exchanger unit. Okay, so uh, let's go and uh, drive out uh, some results uh, uh, from this uh, uh, interested model. Uh, this is our main cycle. We have uh, uh, four uh, main units for gas turbine cycle, and we have uh, reverse osmosis with energy recovery device. We already demonstrated this before. Okay. Uh, uh, for from the compressor, you can assign some inputs such as uh, elite air temperature uh, going to the, com the compressor from the cooler, okay, and what is the ambient temperature or your reference temperature, okay, in order to calculate some exergetic analysis. Uh, for performance, we need to to discover um, uh, compressor efficiency. Uh, I will just keep it at. Um, let's emphasize, okay. I will keep it at um, uh, seventy-five percent in mechanical efficiency. On the shaft efficiency, it's around uh, about nine-five, and pressure ratio. Suppose it's around uh, uh, two. Okay, it's simple. Okay, that's enough for this. For commercial chamber. We have to assign uh, ambient temperature and top cycle temperature. Suppose it's uh, 800 de degree, uh, degrees Celsius. And uh, uh, so we have to assign the, the calorific value of your fuel. Suppose it's uh, natural gas. Okay, and uh, uh, combustion chamber efficiency. Uh, for uh, gas turbine cycle, gas, uh, this cycle is for air. It is not for uh, CO2. Okay, for air, uh, for gas turbine cycle, a gas turbine cycle is, is responsible for power generation or power uh, development for high pressure pump and uh, cooler fan, uh, cooler uh, fan for a cooler and compressor power. Okay, for gas turbine cycle, we have to assign uh, ambient temperature, air uh, specific gas constants. It's okay. Okay, that's enough for this. For air cooler, well, let's see, uh, I have to assign uh, conducer efficiency, okay, uh, fan efficiency, and uh, some. Uh, Tube uh, parameter uh, uh, diameters and and shield diameters. I will keep all of this. Okay, and let's go for uh, overall heat transfer coefficients for air condenser. I think it's around 200. Let's go for 200. Okay, that's the, okay. For reverse osmosis, uh, we have uh, uh, already before. We have basic configuration, build to build drive, pressure exchanger. Uh, let's go for pressure exchanger, most efficient. And if we, if sea water salinity, uh, sea, sea water temperature, and bed temperature. Okay. And the plant productivity, I will keep it at 1500 meter cube per day, number of. Um, 
or for uh, uh, I think this is number of element per results I have to uh, reform this control M we're going here and uh, so number of uh, this is number of elements yeah peer pressure results okay I have to put it here okay and this is number of pressure results okay so uh, let's go for here and make this in E and this is in and V okay let's set okay and okay so uh, for for this model uh, we have to double yes okay well, assigning number of uh, pressure number of pressure visits I think it's around uh, uh, 39 I think maybe less than this uh, recovery ratio seconds I will keep it at uh, 20, 25 okay and for a fouling factor uh, fouling factor I, I will keep it at uh, 0.85 okay and uh, this is uh, this part is for petrol wheel uh, turbine no need for this and uh, for pressure exchanger is a feed splitter ratio as you can see from this uh, figure we have to split the feed at this point in order to reduce the load on high pressure pump and the pressure exchanger is responsible for uh, uh, pressure exchanging with the splitted feed in order to um, uh, uh, harvest or uh, some gain from the prime blue down as a pressure power and trans transmit trying to transmit transmit this uh, pressure power to the splitted feed in order to reduce uh, the power on the high pressure pump. Okay, uh, let's go here and... Uh, okay, uh, I think this is prime blue down pressure, but I will keep all of this. Let's hit on at, uh, at uh, zero time, uh, simulation time, zero simulation time. Let's hit on and see. Uh, some uh, basic uh, outputs okay okay uh, let's go here okay uh, we are trying to extract some uh, some outputs okay from the compressor um, uh, this is adiabatic index compressor power it's, uh, it's going to be uh, uh, 51 kilowatts outlet compressor temperature uh, enthalpy and uh, uh, okay and so on enthalpy and salve outlet and uh, reversibility of the system this is total uh, mass flow rate of the uh, air gases total mass flow rate through the cycle okay let's go for combustor chamber Okay, uh, we need around 0.216 ton per hour uh, of uh, of uh, gases or fuel. Combustion chamber energy, specific uh, fuel consumption, and reversibility rate. Okay, the same uh, the same uh, uh, mass flow rate, so the cycle. Okay, okay. And this is our top cycle temperature or outlet uh, combustion chamber temperature. For uh, uh, the gas turbine cycle, this is the main load on the gas turbine cycle. It's around 122 uh, bar, uh, bar load. This load is coming from uh, the Vitsi Moses. And uh, this is adiabatic index. Okay. We we can try we, we we can try to to make this is outlet uh, turbine temperature it's massive therefore we can I, I do recommend to use another um, 
another uh, low pressure turbine because we have here 500 degrees Celsius of uh, outlet uh, gases. So it's recommended to use another uh, unit. Let's go for uh, pressure reverse osmosis. Basic one, no solution, but we know no solution and pressure exchanger. Let's go for pressure exchanger. Okay, for pressure exchangers, uh, the power, uh, okay, the power differenti differentiation of power consumption after uh, subtracting uh, fan power, uh, compressor power, post bump power, and um, all of these stuff. Um, so we need around 122. Okay, we can discover some outputs. Specific bar consumption is quite low for vicious moses. Very interested. Uh, pressure, it's around 51. This is, in, uh, we can consider this in, in um, the right operating range. There is no problem at all for this. I'm sorry, I have to remove this. Okay. And uh, mass flow rate, it's around uh, 250 meter cube per hour. Brine flow rate, okay, brine salinity, low down, 61 ppm. And uh, this is product salinity, okay. It's around 500 uh, ppm, relatively high, I think. So we can uh, try to optimize this. Let's go for... Uh, uh, for dynamic simulation, infinity. You said change your simulation time to infinity and double clicking here and let's go inside the reverse osmosis trying to optimize the reverse osmosis uh, uh, results in order to optimize the power, the power gain. Let's go and uh, hit run and see if we make the if we make some changes. Uh, Let's go and uh, decrease, uh, trying to increase uh, productivity. Uh, so we have here uh, product salinity decreasing, okay, uh, increasing productivity. So this is our pressure, okay. Okay, let's increase our, uh, okay, this is within the range. What about the feed? Reducing splitted feed. Uh, split ratio, I think, reducing it will reduce the specific bone consumption. Okay, uh, that's enough for this. Okay, um, let's go for another another unit. We can change, make some changes, uh, increasing uh, inlet uh, temperature to the compressor. Let's show the effect on uh, on uh, the cycle efficiency, gas turbine cycle efficiency. Uh, this is power ratio and total irreversibility rate. So we can extract some outputs if we would like. We can extract some outputs. Uh, let's go and see here. Um, this is uh, our second run. Uh, total brilliant efficiency uh, we can this is from from uh, 0 to 0 0.5 0 0.4 I think okay it's single point power ratio I think it's the same uh, total irreversibility yes some changes here uh, out of the compressor temperature it's from uh, 230 this is outlet 240. Okay. Okay, and uh, adiabatic index changing. Gamma adiabatic index. Uh, compressor. Compressor, uh, uh, yes. Okay, and this is uh, outlet compressor temperature. It's uh, from uh, 500. I think okay, and this is total gases flow rate as you can see here. Uh, outlet high pressure bump temperature fluctuating. Uh, fan power. This is fan power. The maximum is uh, ten. 
I'm from zero. And let's see. Okay, this fan power the cooler. A cooler thermal power. Okay, and we have here uh, total area of the cooler. Okay, so you have uh, you can accept some outputs, and you can use a uh, signal builder in order to change all outputs uh, at the same time. Um, and this is a uh, air cooler. So we have to. Uh, I'm just thinking about uh, energy recovery. We can utilize the outlet from the gas turbine cycle uh, by using uh, this gases from here in order to uh, power on thermally uh, multi-fig distillation or uh, multi-stage phase because it's um, let's go back here for the turbine unit we have here um, outlet temperature it's 500 and uh, 500 almost 500 degrees Celsius is quite high quite high so we have to utilize this adding another low pressure turbine in order to extract some power again and um, I, I do recommend this and uh, the exhaust stream from uh, air cooler is also could be utilized for or be used for another uh, energy recovery uh, system uh, finally, I would like to uh, uh, thank you very much for your interest in, uh, interesting in our model. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.